Now, Jesus Christ would be the first to tell you, get up and walk. That's what I would tell you. That's what I do tell you. If you want a life, you know where to find it. You know the truth. And you know that I love you. So I'm not going to coddle you. And I'm not going to placate you. And I'm also not going to fall into the little traps that I know you know how to set. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you the truth. I can remove your cravings. I can restore your family. But you have to kneel. Otherwise, what's going to happen is you're going to miss things. You're going to be looking at a new scary life and feel more comfortable with the old life. Because that's your life. But that's not a life. It creates the feeling of things hanging over your head. It creates need. It creates a God for you. That is not interested in loving you or restoring you. And I can personally tell you from testimony because I have saved so many addicts. I know what I'm doing. It's possible if you want it. You need to first ask to want it. Then you need to ask to have your cravings removed. And then you need to follow the Holy Spirit. You need to give up your life. That's the only way. You are in what's called a very hard situation that you created for yourself by your choices. And the paths on your life <clears throat> that an addict has available to them all entail misery. My spirit can give you strength and wisdom. My spirit. If you stay connected to it every single day, can heal you. You do not have a disease like people tell you. That doesn't make sense. I'll break that myth down real fast. Does your mind change? Your mind is not your brain. How you think is your spirit. That's another reason I'm in here, because I've been judging it, and I've been listening to what you're being told, and I don't believe in it. Without this, you're setting yourself up for failure. In any situation. <clears throat> it's no surprise to me that there is um, a huge fear of people going to rehab. It sucks. Putting you in a situation where other people have cravings and other thoughts that you're absorbing is not the right way to do this. Unless you're going to bury yourself in this and light, It's mainly because people speak. They talk too much about past experiences. They glorify too many things. And they remind you when you're trying not to think about it. I understand. I understand that when it's everywhere and you can't go to a bus stop without somebody asking you, do you got anything or do you want anything? It's very difficult. I know that you want to quit. I know that you don't like your life. 
I know that it's the only way you feel creative and smart and good looking. I know all these things. But you're not looking at the long term. And you're not looking at the moments that you're missing right now. You're taking away from your life instead of adding to it. With my spirit, you can overcome anything. With my spirit, you have victory. With my spirit, you can do anything. And you ain't got to live like this. You have to feed your spirit light. If you have eyes to see and ears to hear, then you readily see the difference between light and dark. When you're blowing out that smoke, it looks like a skull for a reason. When you go to support groups or the many times that you've tried on your own, you got fed up, you decided, I'm giving this up, broke the pipe. People talked about Jesus Christ. People talked about how God was helping them. You saw them flourish. The same thing can be done for you. It's all your choice. Choose life. I love you.